magnets today we will make a free energy generator using a bar magnet circular magnet and a coil for this we will take a so for this we will take a coil like this for making this we will wound a insulated copper wire over a rod to make a, a number of turns maximum number of turns and in the form of spring so we will rotate a maximum number of turns over this rod to make a spring like structure so that a maximum number of turns is available see that maximum number of turns is been obtained by rotating a insulated copper wire over the rod so once it is been done now we will remove this spring from the uh, rod so once this spring is been removed so we have to make some more rotation rod so we are rotating a maximum number of turns of insulated copper wire over the rod so once it is been completed once it is been completed cut it according to the necessity so we will cut it in according to the necessity remove the two ends of the coil in order to make the terminals once it is been done now we will take a aluminum wire like this so as to make it a circle so we will make it uh, in the form of circular shape like this so before that we will insert this insulated copper wire over this so once it is been inserted next we will rotate it according to the requirement see that it is maintained in a circular form so we have inserted the aluminum wire which is used for house wiring and all the aluminum wire we will be to make it in the form of circular we will use it once it is been done now we will take a stand like this we will curve um, make it a curve and make this coil to mount over it like this we will make a fit inside this wooden stand to fit inside this so once it is been fitted rotate the coil over this so that it will not move here and there so once it is been done again we will take another end and fix it here so 
so once it has been done both the ends are finished here next we will remove the insulation of the coil from both the side remove the insulation from both the side so we are removing the insulation from both the side once the insulation is been removed our stand is ready now with the coil next we will take a dc motor like this attach which with the flywheel and fix it according to the requirement so we will fix it in front of this coil see that it is fixed tightly so i mounted it to lift it little bit in an angle we have fixed a cardboard beneath this motor and a stand so fix it tightly once it is been fixed tightly next we will attach a round magnet like this in front of the flywheel so we will fix a two sided tape according to the requirement and fix it in front of the flywheel of the dc motor so once it is been fixed next we will take the bar magnet fix with a two sided tape now we will fix it in front of the round magnet so once it is been done tightly fix it and see whether it is able to rotate or not once it is been fixed bring this coil in front of the magnet so that that magnet rotates in between this coil once it is been done now we will fix this stand with a two sided tape measure the length of the two sided tape according to the stand so we will measure it and cut according to the length so once it is been done fix it below the stand tightly and fix this stand such that magnet rotates in between this coil okay now we have been fixed it in the center of the magnet once it is been done next we will solder it with a solder wire and fix the terminals to the ends of the coil see that proper soldering is been done without a dry solder so once it is been done next we will do it for the another terminal
remove the insulation on the insulation removed solder it with the solder wire once it has been soldered next we will fix the terminals to both the end Next, fix the second terminal to the other end. Once it has been done, now we will fix the terminals. it has been done next we will take a forward bias diode and fix this forward diode to the second terminal so that the generated AC is converted into DC with the well help of half wave rectification by using a single diode here the half wave rectification occurs by using a single diode. Next we will use a filter capacitor in order to filter out the residual AC which is generated in the coil. See that the negative point, positive point is connected with the diode and the negative with the black wire. So once we have connected the filter capacitor diode, the EMF which is generated in the coil is in the form of AC which is rectified by the diode and residual AC is removed by the filter capacitor. Next we will connect a extension board to the terminals so we have connected the terminals all the thing is completed next we will fix the extension board with the two sided tape So we have fixed the motor here. Once it has been fixed, now we have to give the torque to the motor in order to generate the free energy. So once the torque is given, the plug linking with the coil changes and EMF will be generated in the coil. We will have to give the torque by rotating the magnet in between the coil. So once we will give a torque, So the magnet started rotating in between the coil and the flux linking with the coil changes and we will check whether the EMF is generated in the coil or not. So we will take a multimeter and fix it to 20 volt DC and check whether the EMF is generated in the coil or not. So here we can check that 3.79 TC voltage is been generated here. 
3.79 volt is been generated you can check here Three point seven nine volt is being generated. <coughs> so by this, next next we will take a bulb and check it whether the bulb glows or not. So here the bulb is glowing, showing that EMF is generated in the coil. So this works on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction stating that whenever the flux linking with the coil changes, EMF is generated in the coil and thus generating a free energy with the help of bar magnet and a rod magnet, we can generate a free energy. The interaction between the coil and the magnet generates the energy which we can extract it and the bulb glows showing that there is an energy generation whenever the flux linking with the coil changes this is considered as the energy which is generated through interaction of magnet and the coil thank you friends for watching the video please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that i can make such videos for you thank you very much